The Columbia River Basin is the area of land that drains into the Columbia River. The entire basin includes part of British Columbia and seven states. The Monashi, Purcell, Rocky, and Selkirk mountain ranges create deep valleys and steep elevation changes from the headwaters of the Columbia near Canal Flats, BC, to the outflow into the Pacific Ocean in Astoria, Oregon. Elevation changes and a year-round supply of water make the Columbia River and its main Canadian tributary, the Kootenay River, ideal for hydro development. Decisions about how much water is stored or released and when take into account Canada's obligations under the Columbia River Treaty, including flood control and the generation of hydroelectricity. Where possible, regional and provincial values are also considered in dam and reservoir operations. In winter, reservoirs are drawn down and water is released, primarily to meet the need for hydroelectricity. By spring, reservoir levels are much lower and the cycle begins again as melting snowpack refills the reservoirs. Peak flows typically occur between April and June and the lowest flows typically occur between December and February. The ability to store water in reservoirs behind dams means water can be released when it's needed for flood control, hydroelectricity, fisheries, irrigation, recreation, and transportation. Releasing and storing water to meet different needs at different times of the year means water levels fluctuate in some cases, water levels can change by up to 30 meters per year. Depending on where you live, local water levels may change during the day. As the water flows downstream, it generates hydroelectricity each time it passes through a generating station at a dam. Almost half of all hydroelectricity in BC comes from the Canadian Columbia Basin.